Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Dot Hack GU. This is part 12, and on this episode, we are going to go on another date with Adelie. Don't want to spoil things too soon, but we need. Haseo needs to use her healing skills to win a fight with a stranger. So, that's fun. This is Gaspard earlier replying about if you want. I mean, if you know anything about Triage, let me know. Yeah, you, you might notice some of these email replies won't come until a certain point in the game, and in the email they talk about events that just happened. But that's a little different than the first series, where it was just affection that determined when they responded. But Adelie here just happens to have another location she wants to go with us. I've got no, choice but to invite no, Haseo, you can ignore her if you hate her so much. Like... I don't have a choice. Nyeh, 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 nyeh. Whatever. There's a couple more interesting things in the forums that I'll just briefly go over. They talk about Endrance a little bit. One was just like a thread about like how sexy and amazing Endrance is. And this other one is interesting because they talk about that... S they, they call it an unknown skill that Ender Endrance uses to instantly kill... Um, opponents and they're kind of just going over what that might be whether it's like an art which by the way are, are like this when I say a skill in the game I usually refer to an art that's like the skills you use with uh, weapons and then there's another thread for what was from earlier about the weird chest that wouldn't open and we got an area keyword for that we'll go deal with that in like a further episode and then uh, another thread about the girl in white, which um, refers to Aura, that statue girl that Shino mentioned early in the game, and that people that have played the previous generation of Dot Hack games know. So I was just going to get some more information, or ask about some more information about Triage here. You know, no, nothing crucial to advance the plot or anything, but still, some, something I thought was worth keeping in. Then we have some more Apokalu drawings. I'm, I'm not ever sure if I'm saying that correctly. Uh, Apokalu? I just kind of want to just say deviant art, to be honest. I don't think I'm going to leave enough time, but yeah, right here, the S from the person that just posted was Sakubo, so that was Saku and her five year old drawing of Endrance. I honestly wouldn't be surprised at some point she makes, like, a grown-up version of herself all filled out, like, latched on to Endrance at some point. Totally uber, dude! And that's Endrance with the two other Arena Emperors. We'll briefly meet them later on, but as Syllabus was saying in the last episode, there are three different, um like, kind of tiers for arenas, and we're going to be doing the lowest tier in this volume. I bet you can't guess what we're going to be doing in the next two volumes. But yeah, Endrance is the leader of that one. Those were the two leaders of the other ones. You know, but, but you know what? The other two don't get nearly as much of a, um, like, fangirl response that Endrance does. Endrance is kind of like a huge deal, and I think it's because of the Avatar w winning his fights and everyone thinking that he's just, you know, that good or whatever. But yeah, I, I do like Endrance as a character. Um, you know, or, you know, whatever's there. He, he gets more interesting towards the end of the game. And then takes a hilarious turn in the second game. But um, I'll save more about the other reasons I like Endrance when we get to that point in the game. I don't want to give away too much, but the people that have played both generations of Dot Hack games probably know where I'm going with it. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. 
grunties. Whatever. I, I don't know. I mean, people, some players like them in this game. I'm not one of them. <laughs> Unless they're, like, beating up Paseo. I love how casually he just says that. Like, I would love to hear, like, the real conversation of the direction somebody is giving Yuri Lowenthal in the studio when he's saying, so just, just casually say you're going to this place, and he's like, what, what, what kind of place name is this? <laughs> just a bunch of random words put together. So, this time, thankfully, everyone else is either offline or busy, so you know, before making a full party, that you're only supposed to take Adelie. Yeah, all these new area keywords, we're, we're not going to most of them. Like, here's a, here's an area for level 3, and level 4, and level 5, and level 6, and it's like, man, guys, if you just go to the one area, you're probably going to level up enough where the other ones weren't going to be needed. Like, I don't, I, I still don't know why they give you so many areas that you're supposed to go to. It's, I don't know. Oh, but it's a nice, nice sunny day for our second date with Adelie. But since it's Haseo, I'm sure he'll ruin it. You didn't do anything wrong, Adelie. Stop apologizing to Haseo. Adelie's got such a sweet voice sometimes, and then it, like shifts into, like, something a little more awkward other times, and I don't know if it's intentional or not. My favorite character in this series also does that, and it's kind of distracting. Oh, Adelie, you shouldn't have done that. Sayo doesn't appreciate it at all. You can tell he's just like, like faking it. Maybe she'll be more willing to help with the arena than Look I at the tattoo on my midriff, Bakora. <laughs> I'm gonna say that every time there's a shot of his midriff. So, <laughs> there's, there's going to be a funny thing throughout this area where I keep trying to ride my bike and then a cutscene interrupts it and kicks me off. Does it start as early as this? I think it does. Jeez, it's so annoying. <laughs> Story's part of the world background from the official site. You don't know Hisao. That stuff's just made You just up. went level grinded. In this world, but he's right. That is information that I skipped over on the world's main page. It's kind of interesting actually. It it plays out a lot like it, it reminds me of Greek mythology a little bit, the way uh it's just it's um presented. God damn it, Asayo. I hate you so much. So rude! So rude! Adelie should be in dot hack sign. 
right too. She's She's too good for this game. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, I'm actually kind of happy they included like a backstory for the in-game story of the world in GU. That's something I'll give credit to that the original series doesn't. I think on some forum posts, some people kind of piece together some basic things, but they go for an all-out official story on the World R2's main page. And you don't even have to read it. You know, it's just there if you want to. So I think here I got um, a skill that I can customize on my armor to counter with poison, which is pretty good. And then I have poison on my weapon too. And I'll give this to Adelie. Since she has low HP, I'll lower the defense for her. All right, so this is another thing you can do with a bike. You can <laughs> ram into enemies. I fail at it a lot though. Don't expect it to be like something I do a lot here. Or at least a lot successfully. Or maybe I don't have poison on a sail yet. That, um... If you notice that blue thing coming off of some of the attacks, I think that's, uh... His water attack. That's still on him. I'll, I'll put poison on him eventually. But, since it's just Haseo and Adelie, it's pretty much just Haseo doing everything. Um, Adelie... Since I'm taking a lot of damage, Adelie will be healing me throughout that. So, I'm keeping this battle in. This battle kind of takes a little while, but since it's a new enemy, I kind of wanted to keep at least one battle with them in. And you'll get to see Adelie heal some more. Healing in this game is something I kind of have an issue with. At least for the moment. Because you get a lot more HP than you do in the original games. But, you get... You get more healing spells, too, but they're, like, really small um, differences in how much they heal throughout. Like, Rep here will heal 100, and then the next spell, which is called Ul Rep, I believe, will heal by 200. And the SP cost for them is also kind of ridiculous, too, for such a small increase. Like... I forget the exact number. I'll, I, I'm pretty sure I make a point to show it at some point in a future video. But it, it's it's kind of ridiculous. Especially for like a Harvest Cleric that is, her whole job is meant to heal. Um, in the first series, there was Rep that healed 150. And then Law Rep healed 150 for the entire party. And then there was All Rep. O L rep, not all rep. U L rep, U L rep that this game has. All rep healed 400, and then the last one was Fa rep, and that healed all of your HP. And then there was also All R rep and Fall rep for multi-targeting stuff. And each of those skills required 10 more SP to do, so it was still like doable. But here, it's just like... I don't even know if there's a multi-targeting heal spell. Yeah, I, I haven't encountered one yet. I'm like a third into GU Volume 2 right now, I think. And I still haven't encountered one. Although, to be fair, I haven't really needed anything stronger just yet. You know, Asayo doesn't really have to heal too much. Everyone else kind of takes care of it. And there's healing items, too. Why'd you pick Haseo for your name? It's nothing worth talking about. Yeah, isn't she super annoying and obnoxious, Asao? You wouldn't know anything about that. Come on, interrupt me again. Interrupt the bike again. Damn. Oh well. Damn, this is bad. 
I love how you just stop on the bike and just like flip off so dramatically. It's so ridiculous. There's also this cool looking like kettle pot enemy. It kind of reminds me of a black mage from Final Fantasy. I'm not really sure why, just because of like the blackness on its face with the eyes shining. And his little topper looks like one of their black mage hats a little bit. Well, it's a cone, anyway. I don't know, I guess they don't run you too much of black mages, but... I was thinking of in Final Fantasy IX, where all of the black mages were, like, mis like mass-produced. And that kind of reminds me of, like, the steam machines here also being mass-produced. It's a wild kettle. It was born in the wild. <laughs> But yeah, these these levels where you have to just use two people are kind of... I hate when they restrict you like that. There, there's, like, really no point to, except if you're doing, like, a story thing. I, I guess, like, in this case, too, where Haseo's on his, like, little not date with Adelie. She wants it to be a date, but he doesn't, and he's just being nice so he can use her. He's really a, he's really a terrible person. Sorry, this this music is legitimately peaceful for me. It's probably one of the things that I remember the most about this series. Um, especially the sunset version. I have that on my soundtrack. Yes, yeah, so there there was a time when I was in love with this game so much that I wanted the soundtrack. And don't get me wrong, some songs are still great, but when you're playing the game itself, a lot of the music is just kind of... You know, average. And I don't mean that, like, in a negative way. It, you know, it's video game music that does its job, but not a lot of it has stuck in my head over the years. When you try to make a sharp turn, your bike might do something obnoxious like that. I, I, there, it's always been a constant struggle for me to, like, you know, handle that bike properly. I feel like I'm always kind of screwing up in some ways, at least until you start customizing your parts in the next game. I was having a lot of fun with that, actually. I'm really, um... The, the race... I, I, the races and the time trials there are, are just really fun. You get to, like, bowl over entire lines of chims to get chim spheres for a boost gauge, and it's really satisfying. It's a lot more satisfying than, like, running after them. And that's another thing the second volume is cool about, too. It, it lets your other party members go and kick the chims for you. I don't know why Adelie says I'm sorry when she gets into a fight. Like, is she apologizing because she's about to beat them up, or does she think she's, like, interrupting them or something? I, I don't know. Battle quotes, I, I said it before, but battle quotes are just kind of weird in this game. It, it kind of makes it seem more just like... You know, it, it's... I don't know. One, th one th The thing I really liked about Dot Hack was I really liked its concept of it being a little meta and it's taking place in an online game within a game that you are actually playing. But with battle quotes and stuff like that, it's just like... I don't know. It just kind of feels like I'm just like playing another JRPG and it kind of kills the immersion for me a little bit. Especially when some of the battle quotes are so stupid. Like when Haseo was like, well, that's that, I guess. Like, <laughs> like, that's such a stupid thing to say when you win a battle. Especially for Haseo, because it, it's such a good... I don't know. It reminds me of this older person I, I know. And, and that's like something she would say when she finished something up. Oh, uh, Shino shot there, frame by frame, from the cathedral. Adelie's poking at Haseo's sensitive spot. For me, that special person is actually Sakaki. And you too, Haseo. No, come on, Adelie. Let me 
Leave a sale out of it. He's a jerk. <laughs> yeah, I was seeing if I could find that Chim Chim that was just there. It's weird that it was just like a random Chim Chim out in the middle of nowhere. But let's try the bike again. Oh, no bike again. God, it's so boring hanging out with Adelie. God, she's like f flailing all over the place. She's so excited. Kinda. Man, Haseo is like that husband you see in stores with his wife that really doesn't want to be there or with her and just wants to go get a drink and watch a baseball game with a bunch of other dudes. I guess it would be kind of mean to kick it. That's right. Besides, look how cute it is. Damn it. And it was a real gold bird, too. I think taking leisurely walks in peace is what really... I like how there's a target on its... I, I forget what it's called. I like how there's a target on it. Will Haseo make it through his adventure with Adelie to pick out new curtains? Find out next time on Let's Play .hack GU.